book provided by Early Science Curriculum, read by Miss Michelle. Background music provided by iMovie. Our Sun, Our Weather, written by Nancy White. Here comes the sun. As the sun rises, a new day begins. The sun warms and heats the land, water, and air. The sun's warmth helps to make our weather. We get information about the weather from meteorologists. These scientists predict what the weather will be. Look at this five-day weather forecast. Which photograph matches the forecast for each day? Keep watching for a closer look. What kind of weather do you notice for number one and two? Which one of these days do you think it matches in the forecast? Now look at pictures three and four. What kind of weather do you notice in these? Which one of these days do you think it matches in the forecast? Finally, what is the weather in number five? Which one of these days do you think it matches in the forecast? Were you able to match the five-day forecast for each photograph? Let's move on with our story again. On some days, the weather is warm and sunny. In some places, it can be very hot. The temperature rises very high. The sun's warmth makes water evaporate into the air as vapor. The water vapor may cool to form tiny droplets. The droplets become clouds. When the droplets get big and heavy, they fall to the ground as rain. In some places, it rains for many days in a row. In very cold weather, water freezes and then falls as sleet or snow. Sometimes snow can be very deep. Our weather is always changing. What prediction can you make about the weather in this photograph? Even on cloudy days, the sun is still there, shining brightly above the clouds. The sun helps to make the wind too. As the sun warms the land and water, it causes the air above to move. What is happening on this windy day? At the end of each day, the sun sets, the temperature cools. On clear nights, we can see the moon and stars. In the morning, another day will begin. Once more, the sun will warm the land, water, and air. Now that we've listened to the story, let's think about what we've learned. Pause after each question. Number one, how does the sun change the weather? Number two, how does the weather change throughout the year where you live? Number three, would you like to be a meteorologist, a scientist who studies the weather? Why?
Fun facts. At the North Pole and the South Pole, the sun shines all summer and never appears in winter. Every second, about 100 bolts of lightning strike somewhere on Earth. The colors of a single rainbow always appear in the same order with red on the outside and violet on the inside.